Hi everybody, uh, Dustin DePirac here, Tennessee football beat writer. Mike Strange, the guy who pretty much does everything. Uh, here for another episode of dub Double Coverage leading into uh, Tennessee's game Saturday, 4 o'clock on SEC Network against Kentucky. Uh, Tennessee and Kentucky both have a chance to play for a bowl game, but, uh, you know, Kentucky's one win away, but they've really struggled, basically lost their last four. You know, really faded down the stretch here since starting 5-1. and one. Yeah, a month ago I think people were saying, you know, there was some concern that uh, Kentucky could come here and, and, and win this game in, in Knoxville and, and uh, was, was looking like a much improved team, but from 5-1, one, they've lost four straight games. Last week against Georgia, uh, Georgia never punted, scored 63 points, and Kentucky looks right now like a uh, tired football team. It sounds like Mark Stoops was saying on the SEC call this week that, that every week it's it's one side or the other, offense or defense, one of the others having problems, neither is really kind of putting it together. Uh, but you know, despite that, it seems like the Tennessee's coaches at least do see some some threats on both sides of the ball. Well, yeah, they've got a. Uh, uh, Quarterback Patrick Tolles, who has uh, been very effective both throwing and running, big strong guy. Tennessee will have to contain him. Uh, they've had some uh, big play guys, both at uh, running back and receiver. And on defense, even though their defense statistically looks horrible right now, they, they've got uh, Bud Sasser and end uh, AJ Stamps, a defensive back. Uh, you know, some guys who who you have to have to be prepared for. Right. Tennessee obviously is coming off a bye week. Kentucky hasn't had one in a long time, but it seems like it was a really good time for Tennessee to get some time off. Yeah, they, uh, you know, after playing so many snaps, this team doesn't have a lot of depth, and a lot of guys played. It's unbelievable the amount of snaps those defensive tackles play to South yeah. Carolina. I've never heard of defensive tackles playing that many snaps in a game. So, yeah, they, they, they all say they're uh, they're rested and refreshed. Mm, yeah, Jordan Williams especially, I think, was playing, I think, 83 in the South Carolina game, and he was asked about that this week. He says those are D-back numbers. You're not supposed to do that but uh, anyway big one for Tennessee obviously they're two wins away from bowl eligibility so have these guys in Vanderbilt they're kind of ahead of the chains on that but uh, kind of need this one to get ahead to stay ahead of that so uh, we'll have coverage uh, from all that on Saturday thanks everybody